Are you looking to make your video stand out from the crowd? PowerDirector has some cool tools that can help you get it done. So today, I'm sharing five simple ways to level up your videos using PowerDirector 365. The first tip is the invert flicker transition. This is a dynamic transition effect you can use in any video. Now, I have uh, two clips of some guys dancing in the timeline. And I wanna go ahead and create a cool transition between the two of them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stretch out my timeline because I wanna see more frames. And then I'm going to left click on the second clip and I'm going to press the home key on my keyboard so that the playhead goes to the beginning of that clip. Now I'm going to use the period key on my keyboard to move forward four frames by pressing it four times. Then I'm going to hit Control T to split a clip. I'm going to do that again. Split the clip again. And one last time. And split the clip again. So now I created three small clips. And we're going to add the solarize effect to the first clip and the third clip to create the flicker. So we're going to go to effects. We're going to go to video effects. We're gonna to go to texture. We're gonna find the solarize effect. We're gonna hold on our left mouse button and drag it down to the first small clip. We're going to do the same thing. Hold down our, mouth, our left mouse button over the solarize effect and drag it down to the third small clip. Now I'm going to bring the size of my timeline down. And now we'll play it back. Beautifully transitioned, if I must say so myself. Next, we have background noise removal. Listening to dialogue with background noise is distracting. So if you have it, remove it. I got a clip with some annoying background noise. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, let's get rid of this nastiness. You want to left click on the clip. Go to edit. Then you want to click on audio. You want to click on enhance. And you want to click on speech enhancement. Now you'll click on speech enhancement over here in the box. And you click on apply. And now you see that the audio has been changed when we play this back. It can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right. Audio is cleaner than a baby's booty. The next tip is video stabilization. Nobody likes to watch shaky footage, so you gotta remove the shake from the footage. As you can see, I have a clip of a shaky swimmer. I mean, he's a good swimmer, he's got shaky video. So we gotta remove it, all right? Get the shake out of there. Let's go ahead and left click on the clip. You wanna left click on edit. You want to go to video, you want to go to enhance, and then you want to click on video stabilizer. Next, you want to check the box that says apply video stabilizer to correct shaky video. And if you want to see a before and after view, you can click on the split screen. And then you can play it back and see how it looks. Now we can close this out and we can play it back on the timeline. Bye bye shaky face. Now I have two more tips to share with you, but before I bless you with these last two tips, I need you to bless me with a click of the like button, subscribe to Power Director University and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Next tip on the list is color enhancement. When your footage is drab and boring, you need to add a little saturation punch to it. I have a clip of a lady who's taking a dog for a walk through the woods. How serene is that? Now, what you wanna do to go ahead and add some color enhancement and some punch to that saturation is you wanna left click on the clip, 
Go to edit. Go to video. Go to color. And go to color enhancement. You want to check that box. Add it. And you can see if you got the split screen enabled that it's automatically showing you more punchiness in the leaves, in her jacket, in her shirt. It looks saturated and beautiful. You play it back, see how it looks. I like it a lot. So let's close this tool out. And look at the colorificness of the color. Now let's talk LUTs. LUTs can be used in many ways, and one way that I like using them is to set the tone of a scene. So right now we got a lady on her birthday, and she's sad, but the colors look too bright and cheerful. Let's bring the mood down a bit, shall we? So we're going to go to Effects. We're going to go to Filters and LUTs. We're going to go to Colors. And in this one, I want to make it blue. So I'm going to find one called Arctic Blue. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over this and I'm going to drag it down to the clip. I'll play this back. And that's one sad looking birthday. To learn about the six cuts that all video creators must know, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.